Hello, my name is Sam Potts, and this is my five-point plan for doing projects. Step one, tell everyone your idea, as many people as you can, especially people not in your industry. Tell your mom's coworkers, do not make them sign an NDA. What are they gonna do, steal your idea? Not a chance. Someday soon, you'll be in a meeting and someone will want to go around the room and have everyone say what they're doing this summer or this Christmas vacation, this is a chance to tell people about your idea. This is what you should say. I'm going to learn to speak Vietnamese, or I'm going to build a portable heart monitor in processing, or I found this company called Aircraft Spruce, and they sell airplane kits, so I'm going to build an airplane in my backyard. Now this meeting now has two outcomes. One, you're gonna to have to go build an airplane, a full-scale airplane in your backyard, which is gonna take some work. But two, the badass from the meeting who's building a freaking plane, that's you. <laughs> the reason for telling your, everyone your idea is that it puts you on the hook for following through because you're gonna look foolish if you do nothing. And this is important because what's at stake when you have an idea? It's not being first to market, it's not live prototyping and learning from your users. What's at stake is your pride. Pride may be your greatest asset in terms of making ideas happen and getting projects done. You have to be too proud to do nothing. Step two, so it's time to get started. Everyone will tell you John Cage said to start anywhere. They'll say, don't let starting stop you. They'll say, just make a list. I don't care if you make a list. It doesn't matter what to-do app you use. What matters is you find two things, a lucky notebook and a lucky pen. These are your talismans. They're your conduits to the gods who watch over projects like homemade backyard airplanes. It is your responsibility to find these items. Your success in this endeavor totally depends on your ability to find these items and appease the gods. Don't cut corners and just buy another moleskin. It will take some trial and error, as it rightly should with sacred objects, and tools are sacred. At some point in your project, your tools will be your only companions. There may come a time when even your pride has deserted you, and you'll be staring down at a desk full of schematics for wing struts with no idea what to do. You'll be holding a pen in your hand. That's when you need that pen to be lucky, because you've got to start moving it across the paper. Step three. Heed the wisdom of Mickey Rivers, ex-center fielder for the New York Yankees, whose full name is John Milton Rivers, who once said, ain't no sense worrying about things you got no control over, because if you got no control, ain't no sense worrying. And ain't no sense worrying about things you've got control over, because if you got control, ain't no sense worrying. <laughs> Step four, you may get stuck, you probably will. Here's what to do. Hitchhike to Mexico. <laughs> Stop in the capital for lunch, then catch a bus heading south. Any town, doesn't matter. If you have to rely on the internet, go back to El Paso and start over. <laughs> One way or another, find your way to a small town on the coast. Find a place with some tables by the ocean. Order something to eat. Sit and listen to the waves and the birds. The point of all this is shrimp with cayenne pepper and lime, rough corn tortillas, grilled squid if they have it, cold cerveza. And as you eat, remember that when you woke up this morning, you had no idea this place was even here. Later, go over to the mezcal stand next to the restaurant. There'll be a little girl there doing her homework, math homework, in a notebook with a pencil. Remember to save the bottle, which is clear glass and has a homemade label pasted on. Go down to the beach, share drinks with everyone. When it gets late, Head up to the hotel, which also faces the surf. Get a good night's rest. Tomorrow, you've got to get back to work. That plane isn't going to build itself. Step five. At some point, you will want to quit. Please do not, under any circumstances, use the word pivot. Do you think the Wright brothers said they were pivoting when they switched from making bicycles to making gliders, and again when they switched from gliders to flying machines? They did not. Pivoting is about 
turning away from failure or learning from failure or some, something like that. Failure always seems to be involved. My advice is do not fail. More precisely, do not give up. You cannot let yourself off the hook that easily. Remember that the gods are watching. Remember what you told everyone in that meeting. Remember how impressed they were. Now is the time when you have to earn that. Get back out there and fix it. Get new tools. Get help from the aeronautical engineer who heard about your project. Try different bolts on the wings. If you give up now, you'll never know if what you thought was failure was just a matter of the wrong bolts. You have to try everything. You have to have faith that your idea was good. Because at the moment when you want to quit, faith matters more than the quality of your idea. Finally, when you get back from Mexico, everyone will ask where you got so tan. Tell them about the little girl. Show them the clear glass bottle of mezcal. Count to 20 in Vietnamese. They'll be astonished. Take out your lucky notebook and show them your sketches. Show everyone your ideas. A novel that sits in a drawer isn't a novel. You can't protect what you've made. You've got to get it out on the runway, yank the propeller as hard as you can, and get the damn thing up in the air. Up over our heads where we can see it before we hear it, and look up and smile as the sunlight flashes against the wings, and see you in the cockpit as you look down and wave to us as we already begin to look like tiny little ants. Thank you.